Okay, part C just says ignoring the information in part A. So that means ignoring the specific composition that we calculated in part A and just knowing that it's a hyper eutectoid steel. So it's between 0.76 and 2.14. It says, what's the maximum mass of the primary phase possible? So first of all, if we know we're between here and here, that means the primary phase was the one that was formed as we crossed from the gamma phase across this phase boundary into the two-phase field. That's the primary phase or the pro-eutectoid phase above the eutectoid um, temperature. So we want to know how we can form the, ma the, the what the, ma the maximum amount of the primary phase is. If we cross this, for example, say we cross with a composition close to 0.76, the lever rule is going to tell us that the lever is going to tell us this side of the lever divided by the total is really small. If we move over closer and closer to point to 2.14, well now all of a sudden this side of the lever divided by the total is more significant. So in fact, that's the maximum amount. So what we have to do to answer part C <coughs> is use 2.14 as our overall composition and calculate how much of the primary phase or the cementite there is. So we're using this as our overall composition, opposite side always, so we're going to say, we're trying to calculate how much of this, so we use this side as I've indicated there. <coughs> so it's going to be 2.14 minus 0 0.76 divided by the full length of the lever, which is 6.7 minus 0 0.76, which equals 0 0.232. And the question, let's see, it asks maximum mass, so it wants to know in grams. So you've got 1,000 grams total times 0 0.232, of course, is 232 grams of Fe3C. And that's the answer.